Hey Switchheads, hope you're all well and thank you for joining me for my review of Mighty Ophid. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. And as always, hit that like and subscribe button down below to be kept up to date on all my latest videos and content. And you are also invited to join the community discord as well. The link is down below. And so let's see what Mighty Ophid, I think it's still called, has got to offer gameplay. <laughs> Let's start with the story, shall we? In a sad story, his famous dad getting old, his mother dying, and his big sister on the moon. Can Avery, which apparently is actually his name, and what I will be referring to him from now on, but can he catch a break? Short answer, no. Long answer, no. As the bug-eyed lady bug is, well, basically wreaking havoc on the town of Victoria. And she's brung some friends with her. Yep, that old story. <laughs> so, with a jump, a double jump and a shooty gun, it's down to you to tip the balance back into the favour of the good. As you can see, there are six levels ramping up the difficulties and kind of looking slightly different as well. Some of the early levels also give you like extra power type things, things like wings and three-way shots and healing, but it's all using these diamond things that you collect during your run through each of the levels and run out of them and you can no longer use these special abilities. And on to the main quest of the levels. And it's basically to save these like people in the town and sort of like in places that you visit. And once you've done that, all you need to do then is find the exit and get out of dodge. Each level has a boss attached to the end of it. And they're okay, they're not really difficult. And basically you just need to learn the attack patterns of each creature. And once you've done that, they're not really that taxing to get past. It is worth noting that the game is a little bit short and probably a little bit too easy for hardcore players of this sort of action game. They do add a few extra characters or enemies as you actually work your way through each and every level and also environmental traps. I would also say the price is probably about right. It's a fair price for what you're getting. It's not really that much. And I did really enjoy the like water level that's here. The fact that you can enter the water, find little caverns, fight and battle creatures and even fish, piranhas I guess, underwater as well. It was kind of like a nice break from the land bits that you do. Graphically, it's kind of like got a cartoony, I think, kind of metrovania type look and feel to it in kind of like a weird way. I'm hoping that kind of made sense. Moving on. Audio wise, the music has that fast paced action feel. The main sounds all did what, well, basically you expect with them with some bee sounds and arachnid sounds and explosions and the like. All the sort of things you'd expect from a game like this. The good. Various levels I quite liked and enjoyed how different-ish they were. And it's kind of like a good starting point for anyone that wants to get into this type of genre. The bad. On the flip side of what I just said, anyone that's kind of like hardcore in this type of genre probably would want to look somewhere else. It's a little bit easy for people that are just used to this sort of mechanic and everything. And also it's a little bit short, which means that the easiness really, you know, you do really feel the easiness because of that reason. And so as usual, I rate games out of five and it's my own personal views of the game and the value that I personally think it has. And so without further ado, let's find out whether Mighty Afid, I still think that's how you pronounce it, is going to make it up onto the wall of fame, the wall of shame or maybe somewhere in the middle. And with that, I'm going to give it a three out of five. It's definitely not for the hardcoreers out there, but it's a great start that if you want to start with this genre, this is brilliant. This is 
definitely the place you want to start not too difficult not too easy and plenty to do and see it's just a shame that it is actually quite short of a game but then luckily enough it's not priced too high and yeah for a beginner definitely where you want us to be starting and so on to my alternative and i'm definitely going to be suggesting moon raider it's a lovely type game a bit like this but a lot lot harder and a little bit more diverse as well and i definitely think once you've completed mighty afid still not sure whether that's right moon raider is definitely where you want to head next and so if you've got any comments whatsoever about the mighty then <laughs> yeah i'll go there then leave it down in comments that's where it belongs and also consider hitting that like and subscribe button especially if you've made it to this point if you've enjoyed yourself here that would do me a great favor it would also do the channel a great favor as well and if you want to take your experience a little bit further with the switch head then come and join the community discord we love newcomers and yeah we're just a lovely bunch you all are a lovely bunch and deserve it because life is better when we switch together